Good morning. It's uh, Coffee with Clark on Monday morning, and we are in the section in the book of Philippians chapter 1. We'll finish Philippians 1 this morning, verses 27 through 30. And this is uh, regarding striving and suffering for Christ. So as Christians, we go through all kind of different kind of adversities. And um, none of us are excluded from suffering, whether it's personal suffering or suffering because of something someone else is going through or the suffering in general. But it, let me read the verses and I'll make some comments. So only let your conduct be worthy of the gospel of Christ so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear of your affairs, that you stand fast in one spirit with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel, and not in any way terrified by your adversaries, which is to them a proof of perdition, but to you of salvation and that from God. For to you it has been granted on behalf of Christ not only to believe in him, but also to suffer for his sake having the same conflict which you saw in me and now here is in me. So as Christians, we have to watch our lives when we are living as Christians, that we would give glory to the Lord through our lives in the gospel, not complaining, not backsliding, not bad-mouthing God about whatever or other people. We have to just be calm and like Jesus was when he was on the earth. He says when he comes to see them, uh, even though he's absent from them because he's writing this epistle from prison, he says, I want to hear about how things are going for you, your affairs, and that they're standing fast together in one spirit. They have unity with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. So even though he was their uh, famous, powerful leader, whenever he wasn't there, he knew the Holy Spirit was there with them, and he wanted them to continually serving the Lord with strength and with the power of the Holy Spirit and not in any way terrified by those who came against them, their adversaries, their enemies, which is to them, those who are giving them a problem, is proving that these people without Christ are on their way to hell. But to you for salvation, because they're living for an eternal purpose, the Christians here in Philippi. For he said, it's been granted on behalf of Christ, not only that we believe in him, but also we suffer for his sake at times. And uh, suffering is part of being a believer because you're going to have people that don't like you because they don't like Jesus. Or they're going to say mean things or turn against you or stab you in the back when you've tried to do the right thing. But you still have to understand that this is what the Lord went through and the apostles and all those who have gone before us, that whenever you serve Christ, there's going to be a lot of joys and victories, but there's also going to be difficulties. And he also made it clear to them that the same conflict which you saw in me and now here is in me, they're also experiencing together with him. Even though they're not in prison, they're all going through challenges of living in a world that is against Christ and godless. So be encouraged that you're not alone in your suffering and that the Lord is with you and you'll be one day rewarded for all you've gone through in this world for the sake of Jesus and the gospel. God bless you guys. We love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow.